Okay, this is killing me. Which says a lot considering that I'm technically undead. LOL! <laughs> Officer, I will help you in your investigation. I don't really think that's necessary. Actually, I was planning on helping planning on helping you out this time around. Shh, shh, it's okay. I know that you're just in complete awe right now. Pick up where you said that mud thing was. What mud thing? Oh, the dirt, dirt trail. Yeah, yeah, meet you there in five minutes. Okay, okay, bye. Well, I guess that I'll have to surrender this round. No. I think some investigating behind so I can do it with you next time, okay? Will do. Good luck. You roll back your shoulders a couple times and crack your neck. It's investigation time. And it will probably be a chaotic one if Iris is involved. Goodness gracious. You arrived shortly and vaguely you recall passing by this corridor before. But judging by how large the mansion is, you could be mistaking it for a different location. You turn to ask Iris about what areas are nearby, but she was already laughing too hard to respond. Maybe you should just start looking around on your own. Director's note for investigative scenes. Yeah, you told me already, bro. Dun 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 dun. As you continue walking down the corridor, you see something gleam on the ground. You bend down to pick it up. I feel like I've seen this on TV somewhere before. Iris peers over your shoulder out of curiosity. Fluffy Panda, you madman! What is it? That's a really rare trading card. You should just take it and run. What I hear, you can only get those through the black market, and even there, it's limited. Really? No, she's lying. That lucky? She freezes. Hold on, hold on. I actually think that's one of Han's cards. Uh, you shouldn't steal it. I mean, yeah, you found a clue, but you've never felt more let down before in your life. What a troll. Toxic. I wonder what else I should look for. Found a dang rare Charizard, and I'm getting flamed. The dirt trail you found earlier on the, excuse me, on the patio seems to have been. Hey, uh, I know I'm not an actual detective or anything, but didn't some, did someone tamper with the tracks from, from the, that dirt stuff earlier? No, you're right. But why would they go to such lengths for some dirt trail? Motives aside, I'm sure... I'm just trying to figure out how they covered their tracks. Oh, excuse me. Uh, without any of us noticing. I was bringing up a good point, but it's also one that you can't figure out at the moment. Mystery aside, you're shocked to find that Iris is actually helpful? Da da da. I wonder what else I should look for. Wow, this pillar looks suspicious. Da da da! Something catches your attention near one of the columns. Well, to be more accurate, you sneeze and then something caught your attention. Ah! Your sneeze sounds like a puppy. It, it, it really doesn't. Do it again, do it again. I, uh, I don't think I can sneeze on command. What a letdown. I just look crestfallen and you feel a pang of guilt. Never mind the sneezing. Was this gold dust always in there? Unless something changed on our our AC to an air freshener for rich people, no. We could probably catch some of this stuff in a jar and sell it online. What a plan. That sounds like a really good idea. <laughs> Alright, so there's like three items per room it seems. You're starting to feel worn out and decided to take a well needed rest, especially since Hans will change his mind again when you go back to the kitchen. Plus just seems like a good time for a break, no? You're walking- probably not. They said they were gonna kill him. You're walking towards the dining room with Buddy. You have a moment of realization. Buddy, can you tell me anything about Hans that might- that would help me find him? Buddy continues walking, albeit at a slower pace. He eventually slows to a stop and pulls out a sketchbook. The rest- you rest your head on his shoulder while waiting for him to finish his drawing. Oh, man. Is that a younger Hans? Buddy nods in affirmation and continues sketching. It's an Xbox 360 controller. Did he turn towards video games to escape or... Buddy pauses and decides to nod at that as well. He picks up the pencil again to add something quick, really quickly. Okay, anime. Stop saying cartoons, it's an anime. And video games to cope. 
but he shakes his head. Okay, he took. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a little bit more happy now. Good job, buddy. But he looks like he's somehow stifling a laugh before writing one last thing. You read it over and... Ah. Uh, because Hans is immortal, he was forced to watch his friends and family... Oh, well. Time and time again. So the reason he's so shut in is because he's... Feels like 2D characters will never die. You feel like you need some time to regather your thoughts. You thank Buddy for his help and ask him to go on ahead and you'll join him surely, shortly. You walk into the dining room to report your, on your progress only to find that everyone was already there. They seem to be having a high stakes poker match. Buddy switched out his normal balloon for a more serious expression. You pull up a chair. Hey, a uh, quick question. I forgot to mention this earlier, but does anyone know own a two-tailed cat as a pet? Joan perks up. What color cat was it? It was black with... Save. You're cut off by Sebus's sudden burst of laughter. Man, Mero, you improved your poker face a lot. How'd you up your game so quick? Just last week I was beating you to no end. Sebus gives Mario a playful tap on the shoulder only to see that the sca- Oh! Humbles to pieces. What the heck? He dead? The lights flicker out at the exact same moment. Everyone is frozen in place with the exception of Seba. The darkness amplifies his golden eyes and you can see- You can almost see the fire flickering behind them. <laughs> Your mouth Goes bone dry. A pun Mara probably would have appreciated if he didn't die. Your thoughts are interrupted by a sun stream of moonlight pouring through the window. Joan looks slightly drained from using her magic with no preparation. You can quickly look around the room to take account what that everyone is okay, relatively okay. Iris looks way more pale than usual and almost falls to the ground, but Joan catches her in time. The witch props up. A now fragile vampire to help her walk, and then the two of them quietly exit. On the way out, you can hear Iris mumble something about how she didn't mean to. Meanwhile, Sebus, Seba is overheating with a combination of fear and rage. His flames flicker from their usual shade to red and then back again. Murr is trying his best to keep Seba stable from a distance, covering his own gills so they don't dry out while using its soothing tone of voice. You'll only have enough time to interact with one of the issues, so... Gosh. I think... Quick save. <laughs> I think Joan will be able to help Iris, so I think I should help Seba. Because that one dude's trying to... He's drying out trying to help Seba, but it's the same. God, that's a hard decision. My goodness. <laughs> I got a quick save. I'm going to help Iris. I like her character more. You run over to the door to go help Iris. You don't think that maybe there's a possibility that I... Iris, listen to yourself. The possibility of that being true is slim to none and you know it. But that's the thing. We don't know, and we will never will know because it's impossible since Morrow doesn't remember anymore. Remember what? Oh, she's the one that made him a skeleton. Oh, nothing really. You just came at a bad time. Haha. -ha. Really, you're still going to keep this thing a secret. I just don't want to cause any unnecessary stress if I don't have to. Over what the idea that you might have been the one to kill Morrow in the past? She flinches and ignores the comment completely. Oh wow, did you hear that? Maybe it's a Morrow waking up. Before you can react, she's already gone back inside. You think you heard someone's footsteps for a split second, but you aren't sure. The lights flicker back to normal. You hear the sounds of bones shifting, but that's a good thing. Okay, so Morrow's not dead, that's good. That felt weird. Our sighs with relief and slumps against the wall. Tomorrow, you weren't waking up. What? Not sure what happened. It's 
fine, it's fine. We're just glad you're safe. Everyone else nods in agreement, but as you scan the room, you know something is off. Wait, where's Buddy? Where's Merman, too? And the second the words slip from your mouth, a heavy feeling descends upon the room. This can't be good. I really don't want to be the one to bring this up, but we have to consider the possibility that Buddy might have been kidnapped by whoever has Han's head. Oh, goodness. I'm not sure if this is helpful or not, but I found some remains of dirt leading to the library. I mean, it seems like it might be leftovers from the trail you found from the patio, but then again, I don't know, man. It's actually an awesome lead. Thanks, Iris. Ha ha ha! It was nothing, really. <laughs> In fact, if you want, we could team up again. Nope, it's Merman's turn, actually. Actually, Iris, if you don't mind, I'd want to take this part on with Fluffy Panda. I think that my skills might come in handy for once. Sounds good to me, but we should probably hurry on over, yeah? Since we want to get there before the culprit leaves, after all. You're absolutely right. Let's go! Hans might be dramatic, but in this case, he's in an actual predicament. He needs your help. Oh, this noise is awful. He needs your help, and you aren't going to let him down if you can help it. Director's note for investigation scenes hover over different, different parts of the screen. The cursor changes from the cute baby oh, well, I know, man. <laughs> what a book! Goodness, it's a book about capes! You're guessing that it's one that Iris and Hans were reading together. For now, it isn't necessarily useful, but it does motivate you to look for him harder. As you put it back, you notice the... A book with that was slightly out of place. You half-heartedly flip it open to a random page. Classes. The Hebrew name translates to of God. Son of God. Help from God or one whom God helps. Does not act independently from God. Takes only those which has been commanded to take. You wonder why random words are blacked out. I don't know. I don't read that. I wonder what else I should look for. What you got over there? I can hear a ticking noise around the bookcase for some reason. Ticking like a clock sound? Yeah. What should I do? Let me finish up on my end and I'll check it out with you. It might be a sign there's a mechanism nearby. Got it! I wonder what else I should look for. I don't know. Boy. What are we looking for? <laughs> Don't know where the last thing is. Da 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 da. This is bullshit. <laughs> Oh, it's off screen? Are you kidding me? There aren't any more traces of dirt to follow. Well, thank gosh that I clicked it. There isn't anywhere else to go. If you were to mess up at this point, you wouldn't be able to. Mur notices your uncertainty. He mouths the words, you can do this, and gives you a soft, reassuring smile. You take a deep breath to calm yourself down, giving him a nervous smile back. So it's like in the top left up here, it seems. It seems like there isn't anything else... To investigate on your side of the library, you head back over to Murd to take a closer look at the ticking noise he was keeps hearing. I think there's a hollow space behind the bookcase, so I'm going to. So I'm guessing that it's some sort of secret room, but but you can't figure out how to open it. Murd pauses before looking towards you. Well, I have one more trick up my sleeve. He hums to himself quietly with his eyes closed. One more trick. Oh, that sounds terrifying. Stop. <laughs> what to you? Mur's eyes flicker open and you're immediately lost within their depths. <laughs> he gives you a soft laugh and you snap back to reality. See, one more trick. As a sign, one of my latent abilities is a sense is being able to sense things of emotional importance. So hypothetically, if there's a secret room here, someone should have an attachment to it, right? I guess, I don't know. Mur, that's incredible. 
He rubs the back of his neck shyly.